We got a beef chuck right here. It is almost three pounds, just about three pounds. And we have puff pastry. Now what do you get when you combine beef and puff, pa puff pastry together? Beef Wellington. This entire chuck in the puff pastry. So first thing we're gonna do, season it up, and we're gonna smoke it up like a brisket. So we're gonna smoke it until it's about that 200 degree toothpick butter kind of texture and temperature. And then we're gonna wrap it in the puff pastry and finish it off. So we're not gonna finish it all the way in the smoker. Rather, we're gonna get it close, maybe to about 190 degrees internal. And then we're gonna take the puff pastry, wrap it, and then finish it on high to medium heat inside the smoker. So this is gonna be delicious, I hope. So let's get inside, marinate it up, and then tomorrow we're gonna come back out first thing in the morning, throw it on the smoker, run some errands, get back, and finish it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pan out first and snap your fingers and you have a chuck. First we're gonna use some olive oil, then some white pepper, black pepper, ground mustard, garlic powder, chili powder, and that's about it. So we'll wrap it up and get started on the next part. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep some vegetables and we're gonna make kind of like a sauce or a topping. So what, in a Wellington, you have the beef and then you have some kind of like a, a herby top, kind of like almost like a, a gravy. I really don't know the proper term, so sorry if it's incorrect. Then you have the puff pastry on top. We're gonna be using mushrooms, um, little onions. We're thinking maybe some apple, then we're gonna stew it up and we're gonna add some brown sugar and probably reduce some whiskey in there too. So let's do it. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slice up some onions really thin. We could use a mandolin, but Jenna wants to show off her knife skills, so we'll let her do that. We're gonna take about a half an apple and again, slice it really thin, dice it up, so it just kind of melts when you cook it. A bunch of mushrooms, and we're gonna dice up those mushrooms nice and fine and add them all to the bowl. So right here, Jenna cut up some apples nice and thin. What we're gonna do is take some of my favorite whiskey, the Bullet Frontier whiskey, and we are just gonna pour some of this in here and marinate these apples, and then we're gonna cook them up. Let's dump a little brown sugar in there. All right, so first we're gonna take some butter and start melting in, and then we're gonna dump those delicious whiskey apples in there. Let it cook a bit, then we're gonna add the onions, stir it around. And then we are going to add the mushrooms to the concoction, mix all that together until it makes a nice stew, kind of a soup material. Reduce it down, then add it to the blender, process it, and then we should have a nice paste like this that we will be able to put between the chuck and the puff pastry. So we're gonna set our smoker temperature around 200 degrees. Today we're gonna to be using some hickory wood pellets from the Traeger brand. When you start your smoker, keep the lid open until it's fully ignited, and then you'll be good. All right, the grill is ready. I'm also gonna take a couple of these meat probes for the Vecan thermometer. And let's let it ride. All right, so our temperature is sitting around 134 and 117. It's been about two hours. It's starting to look nice, but let's give it a little spritz with some really hazy apple juice. We want to get a nice, nice juiciness going on over here. So we're about five hours into the smoke. We are 150, 148. <clears throat> let's see. That's looking delicious. Give another spritz. Mm. 
Seven hours in. Here we go. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to take the puff pastry and we're just going to lay it out. We don't want it to crack. We want it to stay in one piece. So we're just going to kind of lay them like this. We're going to use probably both pieces of puff, puff pastry. So lay out. And then I'm going to use a rolling pin and flatten it out and smooth it and mush it together. And we'll use that for the chuck. All right, let's take a look. That looks fantastic. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Let's pull it off. First, we're gonna spread this on it. All right, now I'm gonna take the chuck and place it right on top of there. Okay, now we're gonna carefully just wrap this. Now we're gonna take some egg wash. So we're gonna take this guy and crank it up to about 350. We'll crank this about to 350. So this has been cooking at 350 for quite a while now and we are at 197 and 195 internal. Let's take a look at it. Oh, that looks awesome. Very flaky. The juice is just kind of squirting out there. Let's do a little poke test on it. Very tender. Just about ready. We are at a 201 and 199. That means it's a pretty even cook. Let's do another toothpick test and see how it looks. Wow, very tender. That is done. Yep, yeah, look at that so far. How good does this look? We're gonna let it, let, let it rest for like a little while. The brisket absolutely passed the poke test. Then we will cut it open. All right, so we've let it rest a little while. We will take my nice sharp slicer and let's see how this comes out. Look at that. Super dark smoke ring around the side. Look how juicy that is. So the Wellington is complete. Look at that color. Move this aside real quick. Look at that super nice dark smoke ring right along the edge of that chuck roast. Extremely juicy. Right over here. Fat is all broken down. You can see the mushroom compo on top. I think it's time to slice into this bad boy. Yes, you can. Oh my goodness. And the meal is complete. 